Okay, so today I'll be painting my wife's uh, crafts room and I want to show you guys how it looks before and after. Uh, this one used to be her um, her office where she used to work here. She used to have her um, desk and computer and everything, but she's not working from home, so she's turning it into a scrap room or craft room, I would think. But um, let me show you, I kind of prepared it already. I already removed the electrical uh, outlet covers and stuff. I taped it up already. My wife helped me with the taping all around the areas. Uh, right now I have it two colors, like a light, uh, light beige and a different brown on another area. So I'll show you guys right now. I wanna see how it's gonna look today once I finish with the new color that we're gonna put in this room. So it's always nice to have it, everything prepared. You see, move everything out of the way as much as possible. Remove the covers so that you don't paint those. Tape up the trim really good. Also patch up any little holes you make uh, when you put um, like nails and stuff like that. But we're going to use those again so I'm going to leave those so I'm going to paint around that. Okay also guys what I, what I would recommend is uh, always get the best uh, paint roller you can get. Just because you don't want to go for the cheap stuff. Uh, before when I started painting I always used to just get whatever was more affordable but then the stuff will start falling off all the little hairy things and they will start showing on the paint like it will start looking nasty so it's better to get the better one that you can afford and you have a better result with the paint also with the brush don't get the cheapest because all the little hairs will start falling off and they'll stick to the paint on the wall and they'll look nasty so get the best one uh, that you can and also uh, you can always wash them and keep them for a long time. I have used this one for a long time and look at that, it still looks like brand new. Just wash them right away. And like I said, that's one of my tips that I always use for painting. Uh, also make sure, as you can see, I have a rug that I always throw on the floor here. And that helps me make sure I don't spill anything on the carpet or on the floor. Also one more thing you guys that you can do is uh, get a really good uh, extension pole. Uh, you can always get this one that has uh, See how long you can extend it. It goes from like four feet to like eight feet to reach all the way to the top. You see that? No, no problem, no stressing. That works to make it smaller. Okay, let's pour the paint right now. Oh, look at this color. And I got a chip to chip brushes to uh, pick up. Right here, I'm gonna pour about half just to see how much I'm gonna need right now. Yeah, this chip brush that I use is just to clean the excess, it's so getting stuck right here. And I'm gonna use flat paint since it's gonna be for a bedroom, I don't need nothing too shiny, too bright, and too glossy. So let's try this on the wall. So when you start rolling it, you start filling up the roll first a little bit here. Get a nice even feel on the roller. And let's try it out. All right, another tip is to, when you finish the borders up here, like when you go with the brush, go only up to this much, that high from the wall, and then you can retouch it just by going with the little brush, you see, carefully, with a nice steady move. See that? Okay, one wall is done. It's just drying. You can see some areas that are still a little bit bright. That's just because they're drying.
See the nice end at the top. Okay, so we got the other color. Wife's uh, happy with his new color. And we're gonna go ahead and start painting the other wall. I'm gonna pour a lot for this one because I'm doing three walls with this one. Okay, so I just finished uh, painting around the borders. Next step will be just to give it uh, some time to dry and we can peel up the excess, uh, well not the excess, uh, just the tape and check to see if there was any spots that need to be retouched really quick. And after that will be to put the, the covers for the wall plates and stuff. All right, so the paint is dry. Now we're gonna take out the tape. It's looking good. Okay, so I'm done with the painting. Uh, I'm gonna let my wife come back and finish uh, organizing her room. And we'll show you the after right away. But I think it came out pretty good. She already started hanging up some stuff. Since the wall is dry already. Yeah, she's gonna decorate the wall there. She's gonna organize her scrapbooking stuff. Let me show you the closet. She's got more stuff in there. 